going to put the final touches to my masterpiece. Oh, how's it coming along, Zach? Oh, it's, it's a work of art. You'll be amazed when you see it. Oh, I can't wait. I think it's a lovely gesture you're doing this for our bell. Maybe you've got hidden talents. No, that me right. A modern day Leonardo will have you painting the ceiling next. Huh? <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci painted the ceiling of the cistern chapel. Oh, I get it. Any road, I must be getting to work. Don't forget tonight. I planned a three course dinner. Emily, love, you're a blessing to this house. Hey, <laughs> she's right, Emily. <laughs> yeah. What are you making? A surprise. For me? No. It's our special present for Belle. Oh. Well, are you going to tell us what it is then? No. You'll just have to wait and see. Hey, that's one of our Mandy's old dresses, isn't it? Yep. Do you not think that that's going to be a bit big for Belle? She'll grow into it. OK. I'm not making a dress. And I'm not telling you any more. Are you OK? Look. I know what you're thinking, you know. I'm determined. No matter what, or how I feel, I won't spoil this Christmas for no one else. Are you sure you two are going to be all right on your own? Ah, no, sir. I'll look after her. And I'll be closing up the shop early tonight, 5.30, so me and Donna can get away. Great. Do I have to go? I want to stay here with Kelly. I know you do, Donna, but we can't stay here. You know me and Cal could keep shop open a bit later. Well, thanks, Roy, but there won't be any point. You won't do any business. Huh. People always forget up on Christmas Eve, don't they? Could do all right. I really don't think it'd be worth it, Roy. What do you think, Cal? <laughs> Kelly? What? you saying the shop. We could uh, keep it open later tonight. Yeah, if you like. I'm not looking forward to tomorrow. Well, it's perfectly understandable. I think it's going to be my worst Christmas in living memory. If there's one thing I've learnt from you, Bernice, that's to be positive. How can I face everyone on Christmas Day? All that merriment and jovial bonhomie. You're strong enough to get through it, Bernice. Grandad's right. I just don't want to be here. I really don't want to be here. Good, because you're not going to be here. Why not? We're going to stay with Joan in Harrogate. But I can't leave the pub. You can. And you will. I can't ask Tricia to manage on her own over the Christmas period. She doesn't have to manage on her own. Does she, Alan? Sorry? Oh, no, I can't ask Alan to step into the breach during one of the busiest times of the year. Do you mind if I say something? I think Diane is absolutely right. You do? Always am. You need to get away, Bernice. Tricia and I can cope. It's no problem. It's really nice of you, Alan. Are you sure? Of course he's sure. Now go and pack. Andy, we're going to try and give you a Christmas to remember, for all the right reasons. Thanks. I know it's not easy, but you've got to put last year behind you. Christmas Eve. It's bringing it all back to me. Yeah, I know. I keep thinking of Dad. Breaking into the post office. Killing Vic. I could have stopped him. No, you couldn't. I could. I could have told you. Gone to the police. He won't be in jail and all. And Vic won't be dead. You mustn't think like that, Andy. I can't help it. You've started a new life now. In this family. It's our son. You've got to look forward. Don't blame yourself for what happened. Right, then. I'm off. <clears throat> well... Have a nice Christmas with your family. Oh, I'll try. Don't get too drunk, eh? Me? <laughs> See you later, Andy. See you later, Rich. Oh, uh, have a brilliant Christmas and I hope you enjoy your presents. I left them under the tree. See ya. I knew you should have got him something. You can answer that. What? The phone. Oh, the phone. Right. Hello? 
hung up. Great. Sorry. Could have lost a client there. Then ring back if it's urgent. That's not the point. We're looking efficient. I said I'm sorry, haven't I? What is the matter with you lately? Just tired. Working here and covering in the shop. Kelly, if you want to have a future here, then the job has got to become a priority. Will you stop going on at me? Hey, you two. It's Christmas Eve. We have a bit of Christmas spirit around here. Please. And she's just not on top of the job. Maddie. Kelly, why don't you leave early? Zoe! Is that okay? Yeah, of course it is. Thanks, Zoe. And I do hope you have a good Christmas. And you. See ya. Zoe, thank you very much for undermining my authority. Paddy, can you imagine how difficult it's going to be for her this Christmas? But she's been like this for a week. You can't just ignore it. Well, Mum, I'm still not sure I'm doing the right thing. Well, you are, and that's the end of it. No, I can't face Ashley. Get in the car. Go on, get in. Not going away, are you? For a few days, yes. At least didn't mention it to me. Have a good Christmas, Ashley. Where are you going? To join Gavin. Really? That's his parents. They're expecting us for lunch. Mustache. Right. See you when we get back. And when will that be? Bye, Ashley. Oh, a customer. Come to spend all your pocket money, have you? Well, got a tongue in your head. I've come to say sorry. You've come to say sorry? Yeah. Well, haven't you got a flaming cheek? Give him a chance, Viv. I, I was thinking of you. How are you? I was thinking about what you must be going through. Were you indeed? With it being Christmas and a year on. And. Well, yeah. I was thinking, if if I'm feeling bad about it, you must feel a hundred times worse. Oh, I am, and that is an understatement. Viv, he's really trying hard. Looking forward to Christmas, are you? Well, I'm not. I can't even stay around here because of all the awful memories hanging around it. I'm really sorry. And so you should be. And as far as I'm concerned, you're as much to blame as that father of yours. Viv! And if you're feeling at all guilty, then all I can say is, good! That ain't fair. Now get out! She didn't mean it. She did. Oh, you know what she's like. She says things without thinking. I just wanted to let her know how we were feeling. You and all. I feel really bad, Kelly. Must have been difficult coming in here to say that. You don't blame me, do you? No, I don't. You've got the right to. I haven't. If I blame you, I've also got to blame my own sister. It weren't her fault. And it weren't yours either. I love my dad. I loved him a lot. And tomorrow I won't stop thinking about him. But I don't blame you, Andy. All right, son. All right, Dad. <coughs> you? Oh, Christmas Eve. Of course I am, yeah. <laughs> what are you hiding? Where? Hey, it's that nativity thing you've been making for our bell, isn't it? Come on, let's have a shuffle. Uh, remember, it's not quite finished yet. Okay. <clears throat> Is that it? Well, like I say, a few final touches. Dad, it's a mess. And <laughs> what are these? Well, that's Mary and that's Joseph. And where's baby Jesus? Mary is just about to give birth. He, he is not born yet. Right. And the three wise men, where are they? Uh, well, they have not arrived yet. Ah. If the wise daddy won't bother. Look, 
You can't give this to Arbel for Christmas. It's dangerous. Look, there's nails sticking out. Yeah, well, I'll knock them in. Dad, you give that to Arbel for Christmas. Lisa will have twins on Christmas Day. Oh. All right, son. Yeah, feeling a lot better now. Oh, good. I'm going to really enjoy myself tomorrow. We all are. Let's see what we have got OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Good. Right, well, I'm off to Lynn's. Yep. It's like her a lot, staying with her at Christmas. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, I like her, yeah. We'll have a good time. I'll try. Are you going to be out on your own? I'll be on my own. Be with Roy. I'll get him. Thank you. Oh, Have a nice Christmas. I'll do. Oh, you're all right, love. Roy? Mm. Well, Andy was in earlier. It made me think. Can we try and have a really good Christmas this year? I promise we will, go. I promise. Ollie! Ollie! What? I was with the table. Why? Don't you know how to do it? Christmas. Can't wait. Hi, eh? Hi, love. Smells nice. I always do. <laughs> the dinner? Yeah, I thought I'd make an effort. It's your turn tomorrow. Uh-uh. What? Been told I'm working. Oh, great. I can't help it. I know, I know. Still, at least I'll be here by lunchtime. Back in time to cook the dinner. Isn't fair mum cooking when she's been working? Oh, yeah. Where's the punchline? Can we go to the Woolly for dinner? No, Ollie. I want a family Christmas, not Christmas Day in a pub. Well, it's a great idea. I can serve you all. No, Mark. I've already told you. So it's OK for you to work, but not me? I have no choice. And I need the money. Oh, come on, Mum. It ain't fair. If you can work, why can't I? So can I? Please? Great. We're still not going there for Christmas dinner. Right. Are you still going on? Looks like you don't care dragging us off like this. Of course I care, Donna. Can't you see? That's why I've got to get away. I can't bear being in this place on Christmas Day. Just the thought oh, of it. Mum, is... I'm sorry. I didn't think. I need you there, Donna. I need you. Have a great time, Viv. And I will keep shop open late tonight, just in case. Well, it's up to you, Roy, but I think you'll be wasting your time. Uh, we'll see. I love it. I've loved the time. Have a great time. Well, I know you're going to miss your family, Kel, but I want to make sure you have a great Christmas, OK? That were delicious. It were. It were delicious, love. Mm. She's a good cooker, isn't she? Mm. She is. I'll tell you something else and all, Emily. You are a joy to live with. Oh, Lisa. She is, isn't she, Zag? Aye. You have made my lad very happy. Huh. It's that dingle, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> oh, he's a great big softy at heart, aren't you, Zach? Give over. <laughs> you all are. You're the nicest family I've ever known. And I want to thank you for taking me in and looking after me. Well, you know, if you hadn't have been a good cook, you'd have been out on your ear. <laughs> and the love, don't let your dad spoil tomorrow. He's had his invite. If he doesn't take it up, it's not your fault. Any road. You're a dingle now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, why don't we drop Bell off at Paddy's? And then we can all go and have a Christmas Eve bevy down at the Woolly. Good <laughs> idea! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, this looks interesting. 
Daddy, can we go and have a look in? All right, come on. Andy, you sure you'll be all right in there? Yeah, I'll be fine. Very festive, Roy. It's Claus. Santa Claus. <laughs> Don't give up the day job. <laughs> How about some fairy lights to brighten up your Christmas? Oh, it's bright enough, thank you. How about some novelty crackers? Boy, well, leave it be. Oh, go on, let's have a look at the crackers, though. And why not? It's only thing your chef's gonna pull this Christmas. Don't mock, lad. What I'm giving Betty for Christmas, you can't wrap up. Oh, okay. You all right, Andy? Yeah, I'm all right, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Kelly. How are you? Yeah. It was really nice of you coming around like that. Is that for your mum? Uh, yeah. How much is it? Seven ninety nine. I suppose I could arrange a discount. Thanks. Roy, this is great. Why, thank you. Sherry? Ah, thanks. Not you. You know, Roy, the atmosphere in here is so much warmer. It is. Roy, I'm going in the back room for a bit. I need a break. All right, love. So much warmer without Viv. Oops. You're not having another. Christmas is the time for giving. If Roy wants to give, I'm not going to disappoint him. Go on. Hey, up. Not Christmas, is it? <laughs> Does Viv know about this? Oh, I doubt it. Well, has she only popped in to see if she were OK? She's gone away for Christmas. Oh, good on her. Wish I could. Glass of sherry. Terry. Oh. Oh dear, big Christmas cracker jokes next. Not till it was. Yeah? Such a shame you got to work on Christmas, Marlon. Yeah, and Benicia's only gonna have done a turkey on me. A turkey? Legged it for Christmas! <laughs> Legged for Christmas! <laughs> and are the Dingle family joining me for Midnight Mass this evening? Excuse me? But, uh, I don't think so, Vicky. <laughs> I always used to go to Midnight Mass with my dad. Can't we go, Zach? Well, uh, I like to have an early night, Christmas Eve, Emily, before Santa comes. <laughs> I think we should go, Zach. Yeah, Dad, so do I. Can we, Zach, please? Maybe we'll be joining you after all, Ashley. Excellent. I look forward to seeing you there. <laughs> and I don't want you up and down to the toilet all night, Christmas Eve. I just want a quick pint. You're not mixing your drinks, are you, Seth Armstrong? I most certainly am. Well, well, well. We did a roaring trade. Viv will be dead pleased. A cup of coffee, love? Just had one. Christmas is full of surprises, isn't it? <laughs> Betty. <laughs> and Seth. Glad you could make it. Wouldn't miss it for well, Vicar. <laughs> Becky. Well, I think I'm a bit under the weather. You're not taking communion. You've had enough sherry tonight. Is this going to take long? Oh, Zach, where's your Christmas spirit? Timmy whiskey bottle back home where I should be. <laughs> <laughs> Santa's come early and brought me the dingles. <laughs> Hi, uh, right, looking forward to it. Aren't we, Lisa? Yeah. All right, Vic. Happy Christmas. All right, Vic. See me, Dad. Yeah, well, there's, uh, there's still time yet, isn't there? It'll be the best Christmas present ever if he came for his dinner tomorrow. I know, love. Oh, I do like to see families at this service. <laughs> well, I like the old traditions, Ashley. We have to make sure we get home in time for Father Christmas. Victoria's been looking up at the sky all the way here, hoping to catch a glimpse of him. I'm sure Santa's just as generous towards the sceptics. Uh, 
I used to have loads of family round round me at Christmas. My mum and dad and Dave and Linda. I tell you, we're, we're really good. I suppose it's going to be kind of special though, this year, isn't it? Just me and... It'll be Boxing Day when I get you home. Christmas. The very word conjures up so many, many memories. But you know, I always think of Christmas as a time for the family. It's a time for healing, reconciliation and forgiveness. A time to look forward, not back. And a time when we think not of ourselves, but of others. It's a time when the work ethic can be put to one side and the family can spend unhurried time together. I don't feel too good, love. Uh, I'm going home. Christmas can also be a testing time for families. A testing time when we all need patience. Patience and a little bit of give and take. Thank you, Ashley. I'm taking. In these modern times...